So now the after, after, this is where we can stretch. And the reason why we stretch now is because muscles, they contract and they shorten and they go back to their original position. They contract and shorten, but when they lengthen, they're not lengthening past that point. So that's where, after contracting the muscles thousands of times, primarily the quads, the calves, uh, and your hamstrings, it's a good idea to prevent them from becoming adaptively shortened or tight by stretching after. And like me, I'm talking two minutes. I am doing the bare minimum. So I want to take you through again. Now is where we stretch and where we hold. First one is I like to think of a top down. First, we're going to go to the hips. I like to get the hip flexors and the calf muscle at the same exact time. And how I do this, stagger stance, up tall, I shift forward, and my heel stays down, knee straight and heel down. And if I'm doing this right, I'll feel this in the front here and the front of the back. And I hold this for about 30 seconds. And then I switch. So keeping tabs, hip flexor, and calf. And then I'm gonna go between to the quad. This is your basic, good old classic quad stretch. I'm making sure I'm up tall. I'm trying to have a minimal torque on the ankle as possible, and I wanna avoid twisting. If you should ideally be able to get your heel to your butt. If you're all the way out here, that may be an indication it might be a good idea for you to stretch, not just after running, but after after to improve range of motion. We're just trying to prevent things from getting tight now. And so finally we have the hamstrings. And so how we're gonna get this is I like to kickstand one leg out in front of the other, hinging at the hip, and I'm just leaning. Right now I'm feeling the stretch towards the back and even towards my calf, which I like, but after about 15 seconds into it, I put the toe down and now I can get a little bit deeper stretch. And switch. Most of my weight is on the non-leg that's not in front, like this back. I'm titrating my weight, just shifting it to the right, leaning forward, avoiding twisting, ankle down, and lean. And I'm lazy, that's it. You can certainly do more, but that way at least I got the quads, the hip flexors, the hamstrings, and the calves. So I hope you enjoyed today's workout, and I'll see you tomorrow.